Hey Susie Lords family, namaste and greeting from Susie Man Santos. If you are a beginner, this video is for you. Today we will learn how to make different variety of sushi at home. During this video, we will learn how to cut salmon for nigiri, then we will make beautiful nigiri sushi. Similarly, I'm gonna show you how to roll sushi and also sushi roll cutting techniques as well. At the end of this video, I'm trying to give basic techniques about gunkan and pretty sushi plating as well. So please don't forget to subscribe for more video about sushi. Firstly, I'll show you what things you need. I have here a chopping board, it's a cutting board. And I have here a knife, it's a very sharp knife, it's a Yana Jiva knife. And I have here the salmon, that is the sivas, and it is the tamago. I have here the cucumber, that is the French garlic, onion leeks. And I have avocado, lemon, I have here the nori seaweed, and definitely we have sushi rice. If you want to see how to make perfect sushi rice, I have the link in my description box, please. You can click there, okay. Firstly, I'll show you how to make futomaki with the tamago, cucumber and the avocado. Okay, I have here the bamboo mat and I already made the video about how to wrap bamboo mat. You can see link on my description box. And I have here the nori seaweed. Nori always have the two side. That is the rough side. You can see here the liney side and we have the shiny side. Always we have to place sushi rice on the rough side. Okay, I'll take the sushi rice. I'll put in the middle of the nori seaweed and I'm gonna separate very gently and very carefully, okay? And I love to use that kind of finger, you know, the thumb and second finger. The thumb finger will press the rice upside and the second finger will press the downside. So it will be easy for you, you know, if you are a beginner. I already placed the sushi rice. Now I'm gonna place the ingredients in the middle so it will be easy to closing part. So firstly, I'll take the tamago. I'll put the tamago. Then after I'm gonna place the cucumber. Now I'm going to use the avocado. I already cut the avocado. Here is I have the avocado. So the avocado will give the creamy flavor and the cucumber will give the freshness. Let's roll it, okay? For the sushi rolling techniques, always secure ingredients by three finger like this and the thumb and second finger will the secure the bamboo mat. So the bamboo tip will come to toss the sushi rice. You can see here, I'm sewing very slowly. Yes, now you can put rice here to make the little bit sticky. Or you can put a little bit, little bit of water here, but I don't like to use water because the water will make the soggy to the nori so it, it can be a crunchy. Okay, let's roll again like this. Now press a little bit and give a little bit squeeze. Yes. That is our futomaki. The futomaki means the, we'll use the whole seaweed with colorful ingredients. We can use the sakura denbu, um, tamago, cucumber, eel, many things, okay. Especially in traditional sushi, they use the colorful ingredients. We have finally futomaki sushi. Okay, I have the salmon, that is the tail part. I already made the video about how to open salmons and how to prepare for the sushi. You can see a link on my description box also. You can visit my uh, channel. Uh, firstly, I'll clean this black part. You can see here, that is the middle part. So I'll cut. Firstly, I'll clean the black part.
Okay, I'll make the theta. Okay, I'll um, I'll make the theta to put inside the sushi roll. Okay, now we will learn the how to make uramaki sushi. It's called also inside out sushi roll. For the inside out sushi roll, uh, I love to use 100 gram sushi rice normally. You can use, use 110 gram and a little bit 90 gram also. So I'm gonna place the sushi rice on the right side of the nori. I'm gonna put it in the middle. So I'll place rice, sushi rice gently, very carefully. For the futomaki, you can use 130 gram, 140 gram sushi rice. But in a uramaki, I love to use 100 gram sushi rice, okay? If you have the rice a little bit, if you feel a little bit more rice, you can take it. No problem, okay? I already placed sushi rice, my sushi rice on the rough side of nori. As you can see here. Now I'm gonna use the sesame seeds, black and white mix is the toasted sesame seeds so it will give the little bit more crunchiness when you're gonna eat. Now I'm gonna flip it because that is the inside out sushi roll, it's called also uramaki. Some people call also chumaki, okay. I'm putting the little bit more rice rather than the nori, little bit more. So it will be easy when you're gonna close it. For the beginner, it is very best idea. For the uramaki, I love to use salmon, avocado and spice mayonnaise. Firstly, I'll use the avocado here. And I love to use the spice mayonnaise. If you want to see how to make spice mayonnaise, you can visit my YouTube and you can see the link on my description box, okay? Now I'll place the tira of the salmon. I'm leaving here one finger on the bamboo mat. So I'll lift the bamboo mat like this and I'm gonna secure the ingredients and fish with three fingers. Now the bamboo tip will come to toss this side. Now I'm gonna roll it again to secure it. I'll give a little bit of squeeze. Now I'm gonna give the little bit press here on the on the side of the roll so all the ingredients will all ingredients will stay fine. Yes. That is our spicy mayo uramaki. I'm using here salmon, avocado and spice mayonnaise. Now, that is the sea bus. If you want to see the video how to fill out a sea bus, you can <laughs> visit my <laughs> channel. <laughs> I have lots of videos on my channel, you can visit my channels. Now, I will use, I will make the hosomaki of the sea bus. Okay, uh, this side is a little bit good, so I'm gonna use this ones for the hosomaki. Uh, for the osumaki, I love to use normally 60 to 70 gram sushi rice. If you want, you can use a little bit more also, but I love to, I prefer to use just 60 to 70 gram, maximum 70 gram. So the textures and flavor of the rice will be a good combination with the ingredients. I'll use the French garlic here. It will be good combinations between shivas and French garlic. And for the crunchiness, we can use a little bit sesame seeds. If you don't want to use, it's okay for you. Now, 
allt för de flesta sivas. Nå, no, jag menar väl inte. I roll it, now I'm gonna roll it again, to close part. Yes, that closing part you can put on the bottom so it will close very properly. Now I'm gonna put here. Now time to make the nigiri from the salmons and the sivas but before that I want to make the gunkan cucumber gunkans for the uh, freshness for the fresh test for the extra test okay let's go i got the tira of the gunkan now i'll make the small ball like this you can use more or less 10 grams sushi rice now put the and you have to roll sushi rice by the Cucumber neta. Yes. Again, I will make the another same same process. Yes. And if it is going to close, you can put the closing part in the same positions, same side. Okay guys, let's go for the nigiri. To cut the nigiri, first I'll make the nigiri neta. Take your knife here. Slide, make slide and finish with the 90 degree. Again, I'll do like this. Yes, it's enough for us. That is the neta of the nigiri from the salmon. Now I'm gonna take the neta from the sivas. It's the same process, okay? Make slightly and finish with 90 degree. <laughs> In a force. Now I'm gonna make the nigiri. Nigiri means the hand press sushi. So uh, the any kinds of slice of raw fish, a slice of uh, cooked things, and any kinds of vegetable will be on the top of the rice, and will press by the hand. It's called the nigiri sushi, and some people call it nigiri sushi. Let's make the nigiri sushi. Okay, after the rice, I'll take a little bit small ball. Don't press like this. Yeah, too much. Don't press too much. It will be a very chewy. I'll use another one. And I'll put here. For the beginner, otherwise you can slice like this also. For the beginners, we can I'll show you one thing. So very easy things, the straight for the another snigiri. Take the rice, rice ball, small rice ball. 10 to 12 gram and put here and put in the two fingers again put in here and give a small squeeze to the rice press that's the negative Now I'm gonna make the nigiri from the white fish, that is the sivas. If you want to be a little bit decorative.
Yes, finally, we have everything here. We have the Futomaki, Uramaki, Hosomaki, and that is the Kukumar Gunkan, and we have the Siva Sinigiri and the Salmon Degiri. Now I'm going to do the plating. I already make the futomaki, uramaki, osomaki, negiri the salmons and uh, negiri the sivas, negiri of the tamago. And this is, this is not a very professional tamago, don't worry about it. It is very simple homemade tamago. And we have the uh, gunkan uh, of the gunkan and gunkan the cucumber. Firstly, I'll cut the futomaki. When you're gonna cut the sushi roll, always make your knife very weighty so your sushi, sushi rice can't be sticky on the knife so it will be easy to cut sushi roll. Uh, I love to hold the knife in between two fingers so it will the knife can remove and it will be easy to cut sushi roll. When after cutting the sushi rolls, always clean your knife, okay? Cut and clean, cut and clean. Now I'm gonna cut the uramaki. Uramaki, uh, it's, it, it is really hard to cut if you are cutting first times, but always clean and make your weight knife and start from here. Uramaki will cut the eight pieces, so I'll cut in the middle. Yes. Now I'm gonna cut the randomly because I love to cut randomly. That's why. Random. I love to cut randomly because I want to make the measurement accurate. I'm not very used to cut middle, but if you want to cut, you can cut like a middle and middle and middle. We have here furamaki with the spice mayonnaise. Now I'll cut the hosomaki in the middle and hosomaki some people cut in eight pieces and some people cut the six pieces. I love to cut six people six pieces. So I'm gonna cut the six okay. Now I'm gonna place the, I'm gonna put the gunkan nuri 
and here is the kunkan cucumber. Now I'm gonna place the nigiri. For the gunkan, the gunkan means the war boat, so it looks like a boat. So in a gunkan, we have to fill on the topping. I'm putting here the tivas with the French garlic with kimuchi, and here I'm putting the uh, for the nori gunkan, I'm putting the uh, tamago, homemade tamago. I'll use the little bit kimuchi here. And that's sesame oil seeds. That's it. Finally, I have heard a beautiful sushi plate with the futomaki, uramaki, osumaki, gunkan, cucumber, and gunkan danuri, and the nigiri. I have the nigiri, three types of nigiri, tamago nigiri, I have the sivas nigiri, and the salmon telpat nigiri. And I have heard the ginger and wasabi. I hope you're gonna like this video, and you're gonna try it at your home. And if you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos about sushi, and please comment how your sushi will taste. Thank you for today. See you in the next video.